What's going on everybody? Yvonne here. Now in this day and age, monitoring prices and trends is pretty much crucial. And honestly, doing it manually and having 20 different tabs open and constantly pressing reload just takes forever. And that's exactly where tools like Browse.ai come in because they do all that work for you. Essentially what it does is that it's able to scrape all that information from that website of you guys' competitor or whatever website you tell it to. And it's going to tell you all the information you may need, like the name, pricing changes, stuff like that. And that way you guys don't need to have 30 different windows open and just constantly pressing reload to see if they're price changes or not. And honestly, that's pretty crucial because let's say there's a holiday season or something like that. You'd probably want to know if your guys' competitors are changing their pricing because that way you can change yours as well. Because if you guys are going to be a day or two late or even a week, that can have big impacts on your guys' business. So that's why staying on top of trends and prices is pretty crucial just because you guys don't want to be left behind. So today we're going to walk you guys through on how does Browse.ai can help you guys with price tracking and we're going to go over its features, use case scenarios, and see if it's going to be a good fit for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, once you guys open up the platform, here's how it's going to look like under the hood. You guys are going to have two different options. We can either extract structured data or we can go ahead and monitor site changes. So essentially what this means is initially, if we want to get all the prices, let's say for Nike shoes out, we can go ahead and export that through the structured data option here. And later, let's say if Nike goes ahead and changes their prices, let's say if it's Christmas or another holiday, we can go ahead and get a notification on that as well. So let's go ahead and see how the extraction of the structured data looks like. We're going to go ahead and input the Nike URL here. These are some basketball shoes that I was looking at. So let's go ahead and set up our training bot. And there's going to be two different options here for you guys, either the studio or the Chrome extension. I would use the studio just because it's going to be a lot more seamless. So let's go ahead and go to the studio. Awesome. Now it's loaded up here. And as you guys see, the robot is watching every single move and it even says recording started. So from here, we want to go ahead and go to capture text, go to from the list, and we're going to go ahead and select one of the shoes here. For example, this whole line item. Now it's extracting all the information and it's going to give us a spreadsheet of all the shoes right over here. And trust me, this is much better than doing it one by one and manually typing it in. So boom, as you guys see, if we scroll down here, it's going to give us all the shoes here. The way it's going to get more information for us, as you guys see, it's going to scroll down to load more items, but you guys can also change that because I know on some websites, you have to like press next page there to get access to it. And if you guys do want to change that, or if the website you guys are playing with does have that thing, just go to review settings here, reselect, and boom, there's going to be the different options here. So let's cancel because for us, we do need to scroll down to load more items. Let's confirm that. Let's go ahead and extract 10 rows here. We're going to go ahead and save the captured list and the job's finished. We're going to go ahead and name it shoe dog robot. Let's press save. Awesome. And as you guys see, it has all the information here for us. So yes, it looks good. Let's finish capturing that list and boom, we have our list. And if you guys want to integrate it with another platform, all you got to do is just go to integrate and you can tie it in with Google Sheets, Zapier, webhooks, other APIs, Airtable, different stuff like that. The reason why this is important is because if you guys have a centralized place to keep all of your information, that way browse.ai can just pretty much shoot all the information over from a website into that place. But what happens from there? Let's say if something changes amongst the shoes, what do we do from there? We need to set up a monitor. So here's how it's going to look like. You can go ahead and set it up right over here if it's already working with your guys' existing robot, or you can also create a new one. So let's go back here to our dashboard. We're going to build a new robot and it's going to go ahead and monitor site changes. So again, let's go ahead and use the same URL here, the Nike one, start training a robot. Let's go to the studio. And again, same thing. Let's go ahead and go to capture text. We're going to do just text and we're going to go ahead and hover over the one 50. Alrighty, that is going to be the thing we're going to be looking for. So let's press confirm here. And the label for it is going to be price. Now that text, we just got to create a whole new column called price and has a number associated with it. So let's go ahead and save that text and we can go ahead and capture more. Let's go ahead and select the name, confirm name of the shoe, press save. And if you guys want to do it for like more items there and like see any changes for those, all you would need to do is just instead of like capturing that specific text, you would do it from a list and that way you can do it for a whole like bulk of items. I'm just doing it one by one here. And once you guys have done now, let's go ahead and press finish. We'll make it price monitor, press save. We can make this run every day, every week, every month for hour or minute. It does require a different plan. It's going to run at any time. And as you guys see, this is going to be the most important thing. You will notify us by email if there's going to be a change in the captured text. So note that's going to be really important because if something changes to the price, to the name, right? The things that we selected, we want to know that. So let's go ahead and press save here and boom, you guys are done. You can actually see the history behind what's going on and what happened. You can go ahead and monitor it. We can go ahead and integrate it with it as well to you guys' Google Sheets, Zapier webhooks. And that way, like let's say if prices changes, an X, Y, and Z is going to occur as well. And that way, in addition to scraping all the data on a website, you guys can stay up to date on any changes that are occurring to it as well. And this is going to be crucial for anybody that's doing any kind of analysis. Ranging from e-commerce brands to retailers to startups and SMBs, all this information can be very crucial. Having access to it on a daily basis can give you guys a huge advantage. And that way, you guys are not going to be behind. And the best part about the platform is 
is that it doesn't require any type of code and it integrates with the tools you guys may be using. And that way, as you guys grow, you guys don't have to worry about jumping from one system to another. And there you folks have it. As you guys saw, Browse.ai is super easy to use, especially when it comes to tracking prices. So if you guys are running any type of shopping business, the digital presence, this is going to be a no brainer for you guys. To get started, once you guys have clicked on the link down below in the description, all you got to do is just press get started for free. Go ahead and input the email that you guys want to use, your guys' password, press sign up, enter your guys' first last name, the state you guys are in, press agree and continue. Go ahead and go through a couple questions they may ask and boom, you guys are going to be ready to rumble. So if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time. Peace.